Hi, and welcome to a number episode of Fan Films We Tried to Make. Well, today we're going to discuss a Jurassic Park fan film that we tried to make around 2007, 2008, actually further back than that, 2006, but it all began much earlier than that. So let's jump right into that. So actually this project or fan film, so to speak, um, started way back, like around the time Jurassic Park 3 came out, like right after it. Um, it actually has its genesis, so to speak, um, more or less in the winter of 2001, 2002, early 2002. And you know, of course, we had a video camera, VHS RCA, and I would do little stop motion stuff for what I envisioned as a version of Jurassic Park 4. Of course, I had the internet around that time, and I was um, basically looking for any information I could about a Jurassic Park 4. And, you know, everyone was expecting it to be, be out by at least 2003. And then 2003 came and went, and... Yeah, we didn't get a Jurassic Park 4 until 2015, and it was called Jurassic World. So, basically, this project started in the summer of 2006 with a uh, neighbor friend of mine. Um, we basically started this um, more or less on notebook paper, <laughs> and uh, the original uh, name of the project was uh, Jurassic Park Park 2, kind of play on words with the whole Part 2 kind of thing, and eventually the title was changed after a few months uh, to actually be a title of a video game, a popular video game at the time, called Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, the thing about it is, um, it's, when I tell you the story, you're, you're going to say this sounds very familiar. And you're going to be like, did he predict that? Or did they take that idea? Well, let me tell you about it. So basically the idea of our fan film, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis was about a new park on the original island, um, Isla Nublar. And it had basically, I mean, it was kind of a loose, very loose remake of the original film in a way and it kind of referenced the events of the previous three films um to make them you know canon i guess or at least canon in our fan film universe <laughs> and um basically it had to do with a um a hybrid dinosaur a um the one i think the one that we were using because we were using stop motion we weren't doing cgi or anything at the time and it was going to deal with a um, Spinosaurus, um, Carcharodontosaurus, you know, whatever you call it, T-Rex hybrid. And we was going to make our own stop motion figure and all that. And, um, you know, in the summer of 2006, it was just too daunting. So eventually we got over it. So in the, two, the summer of 2007, another childhood friend of mine uh, named... Uh, Jason, we decided we were going to uh, actually make it, and it never happened again. Same thing. We we actually, for both versions, the 2006 and 2007 versions, there is footage somewhere on a VHS tape, lost to time, that exists. I know in the 2006 version we filmed, because we refilmed both of them, um, you know, both the scenes. The 2006 version, there was only about maybe six minutes of footage filmed for it while the 2007 version there was actually a total of about 23 minutes filmed and it was unedited raw footage there was some stop motion in both versions but it's something we never really um, delve into and then in the spring of 2008 we decided we were going to get serious and work on the project again and actually figure out how to use uh, blender which is a um 
basically a computer CGI animated kind of deal. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> and we actually were going to get very serious about making it. We actually went so far as to, um, to cast people for it instead of using our friends. We actually casted, um, you know, people in my, uh, school when I was, when I was growing up. And, um, we were real serious about, it. we were like, we're going to make this fan film and it's going to be awesome. And once again, um, you know, we all, that summer we went our separate ways um, and we couldn't get any of the actors on board for it again. And it just kind of uh, went away. I think we tried to revive it in the summer of 2009, but we just were like, no, we're, we're not going to do that. We can't do CGI or anything like that. And uh, that's pretty much how it went. Now, diving deeper into the story, like I said, it was wrote on notebook paper. There actually was a typed version of it, or I, I call a um, revised version, but it's lost. The computer was on hard drive, crashed, lost the time, long gone. It's been gone for more than a decade. And um, it's it basically dealt with a hybrid dinosaur. You know, they opened a new park. It's getting ready to open. Basically mirrors the original Jurassic Park. They have this hybrid dinosaur, like I said, it's like Spinosaurus, T-Rex, yada, yada, yada. And it escapes and, you know, causes havoc and uh, they have to close this park before it's, you know, ha they have to close the park. And basically, if it sounds familiar, it's basically somewhat of the premise of Jurassic World. And I don't know how, I do remember going into forums and chat rooms around 2007 and discussing it with um, like other people, other fans, and they were on board with it. And um, it just, uh, you know, it, it never happened. And it makes me wonder, did some Hollywood writer out there actually, you know, use that idea? Did I, you know, me and my friends actually come up with a uh, legitimate idea. And of course, by 2008, uh, the uh, the guy who runs this channel, Steven, um, he was on board with the 2008 version and he, um, he helped out with a lot of that. And that's really where it made a lot of progress other than what we, you know, what little we filmed with, um, you know, kids we grew up with. And um, it, uh, it just, it's real weird. And it's not the first fan film that we've actually uh, made that somewhat predicted a later sequel in a series. Um, later in these episodes, I'm going to describe two more movies that pretty much, pretty much were what we had wrote. And they were also out there on the internet in chat rooms and forums and whatnot. Of course, those chat rooms and forums are long gone. They've been gone for well over a decade. Um, they might have existed as early, you know, as late as mm, five years ago, but um, I know one of them that we used um, is long gone. But I find it so damn interesting that an idea that I came up with as a child basically became the premise of the next, like, Jurassic Park, or I should say Jurassic World 2015 uh, movie and it's just it's just so damn interesting and I don't know if it's just coincidence or if somebody was like going through these old forums or what I'm sure they exist through like the Wayback Machine or something I, I really don't know um, I know one of the forums I used a lot that I used to post on I don't know precisely if I posted about that particular fan film on it but there used to be a fan site called Jurassic Park Legacy. And what they were was just like this big fan site for Jurassic Park fans. And even for the um, the uh, Telltale Jurassic Park game uh, that came out over well over a decade ago, they actually used um, the encyclopedia on uh, Jurassic Park Legacy to um, get information about the game, which I, I find that real interesting. But um, wrapping things up here, it's just so interesting that, you know, an idea like that actually came true. I, it, it's got to be coincidence. Like, it's just, it's, it's got to be coincidence. But um, it's not the, not the only Jurassic Park fan film we tried to make. 
We actually tried to make one around 2013, which I will talk about in our next episode of Fan Films We Tried to Make.